good morning students now let us continue with the poem uh, before dying i hope you have uh, understood the passage uh, that we have finished and the first paragraph i hope you have understood before dying by jibananda das now let us continue so as we uh, discussed in the previous lecture uh, in this poem he speaks about uh, the places that he has lived in uh, during his childhood and even then he was a, a young boy so now let us continue and i hope uh, the passage was clear to you now let us start we who have loved the long winter night in darkness have heard on roof thatch wings beating in the tranced night the old owl smell lost again ah where in the darkness wonderful the winter night we know full of the deep delight of wings gliding over fields herons calling from people boughs we who have learned these hidden enchantments of life so he talks about the delights that he has been uh, a witness to during uh, his childhood so now we who have loved the long winter nights a uh, night in darkness yeah, so the winter night is naturally long especially in the uh, rural areas where people uh, retire indoors very soon where people go to sleep uh, very soon uh, they uh, very early rather and they uh, naturally the winter nights are very long we who have loved the long winter night in darkness have heard on roof thatch wings beating in the tranced night so when the people are sleeping so sometimes the birds may be passing above uh, their homes or they may uh, come on the roof and uh, their uh, wings there uh, they may be the birds may be heard beating their wings on the uh, roof of the uh, huts that the people live in now roof thatch now thatch is a uh, thatch is a roof with a slant okay so you must have seen the thatched roofs the thatched roofs are the Uh, roofs with a slant, and they are mostly made of straw, reed, sedge, uh, or palm branches. Yes, so uh, we who have loved the long winter night in darkness have heard on roof thatch wings beating in the tranced night. so i hope you have understood this that while they were um, indoors the people um, sometimes hear the wings beating on the roof the wings of the birds that may be passing above or that may have landed on their roofs the old owl smell he recalls the uh, smell of the owls lost again are where in the darkness so sometimes the smell is very strong and sometimes it is lost in the darkness wonderful the winter night so he remembers with fondness the winter nights uh, we know full of the deep delight delight means happiness of wings gliding over fields so he is still recalling the winter nights of wings gliding over fields again the birds making a journey during the night of wings gliding over fields again gliding means not making much sound uh, passing something very uh, smoothly of wings gliding over fields so sometimes the uh, people may hear the wings of the birds as they are flying over the fields herons calling from people boughs now people you know uh, the tree of people boughs means branches now herons uh, kin their herons are jinna you know, no pa 
बगले कहने सो हैरनस सो हैरनस आर द बर्ड्स फिर दे आर नेचुरली यू मस्ट हैव यू मस्ट बी फेमिलियर विद द हैरनस दे आर लॉन्ग दे हैव लॉन्ग लेग्स एंड herons calling from people boughs so sometimes the uh, herons who are sitting on the branches of the people they may sometimes call from their we who have learned these hidden enchantments of life now enchantments are the magical things so we who have uh, been very close to nature we have learned these hidden uh, magical things of life so these are the things of magic the uh, which are the things of magic uh, the uh, going to the uh, field during the night and seeing the mist over the river and then uh, sleeping during the night and hearing the wings beating on the roof then the old owl smell and uh, in fact the whole winter night is wonderful okay sometimes the uh, birds may be heard gliding over fields herons calling from people boughs so he considers himself to be one of the uh, lucky people um, those lucky people who have been close to nature we who have seen the wild duck escaping the hunter's shot take wing into the horizon's mild blue uh, moonlit a uh, moonlit glow now horizon simply means the sky here as you all know horizon is that point where the earth and sky meet so we who have seen the wild duck so wild duck escaping the hunter's shot so sometime uh, the Uh, hunter is unsuccessful in shooting the wild duck and when it escapes the hunter's shot jadon shikari de nishane to bach jandi hai fir oh ki kardi hai take wing into the horizon's mild blue moonlit glow so here the hunter is trying to shoot the wild duck during the night uh, but as the sometimes the wild duck may escape the aim of the hunter and then it uh, flies into the sky and the uh, color of the sky is light blue because of the uh, moonlit glow because of because the moon is there just uh, these are the pictures that come before our eyes when we read these lines